in your health, reducing the risk of a stroke. I'm Jocelyn Mementa. There's an option more doctors are considering to unblock an artery in patients like Ron Lyman. This shows the common carotid artery here, which is normal. A follow-up ultrasound of Ron Lyman's thyroid after battling head neck cancer revealed another serious health threat. They noticed there was a blockage in my carotid artery. Doctors determined it was linked to Ron's chemo and radiation treatment. Like when you shrink wrap a boat, you know, you put heat on it and it pulls, it, it uh, tightens the plastic up and, and uh, you're, you know, I've learned that your esophagus and your uh, other, your body uh, does the same thing. It, it, the walls thicken and it gets tight. This segment right here is the abnormal portion where it was critically narrow. Ron's doctor, Dr. Thomas DeVinagrasha, is a vascular surgeon at Hartford Hospital. His top priority was to prevent a stroke. One of the main things we worry about, even though we're doing a procedure to prevent a stroke, one of the things you worry about, in fact, probably the thing you worry the most about is actually the risk of a stroke at the time of the procedure. Instead of the traditional open surgical method, your incision is uh, healed very nicely. Dr. DeVinagrasha uh, chose uh, transcarotid artery uh, revascularization, or TCAR to okay. put in a stent to repair Ron's narrowed artery that was at least 80 percent blocked. In my opinion, uh, this is the safest way to protect the brain during an angioplasty and stenting procedure. A small incision was made. You perform a small incision above the clavicle. Its unique flow reversal protects the brain and lowers the risk of a stroke during surgery. The flow reversal is, again, to, to protect the brain from any, any perioperative or periprocedural strokes, which would be caused by little pieces breaking free, free as, you're, as you're manipulating that, that area. Now I don't have a blockage, so I, I, I'm not worried about getting a stroke. My plumbing's humming. <laughs> the minimally invasive procedure requires an overnight hospital stay. Ron was back at work on Monday after undergoing the procedure on a weekend. Have a health question? Send it to News 8 on call at WTNH.com. We'll get the expert answer for you. Jocelyn Mementa, 